हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज क्लास सिक्स हनी सकल पोएम टू द काइट लेक्चर टू इन द प्रीवियस क्लास आई एक्सप्लेन यू द पोएम लाइन बाय लाइन एंड इन टूडेज क्लास फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई टेल यू द समरी एंड देन अ ब्रीफ डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ पोएम एंड देन क्वेश्चन न्यू वर्ड्स एंड क्वेश्चन आंसर्स विल बी डन देन होमवर्क डिस्कशन विल बी देयर आफ्टर असाइनिंग द homework for today's class let's begin with the summary first of all the kite is a short melodious poem by harry ben it is based on how a kite flies in the air and the majestic look it bears when it flies the poet begins with an exclamation of how bright a new kite looks against the blue sky when it plunges and snaps its tail the poet uses the simile like a ship to compare its gliding motion it looks as if it is sailing over the sea waves during the high tide as the kite flies high up with the wind it tugs hard as it threads and like humans it is tired out it then holds to rest when the kite has to be wound back till a new wind fills it high and uplifts it but the kite loses its splendor when its string gets tangled in a tree top it then becomes foppish and loses all its grandeur thus ends the journey of a kite let's begin with the line by line description a brief description in a short manner we'll start now how bright on the blue is a kite when it's new it means the kite enhances the beauty of the sky that is blue when it is being flown in the sky with a dive and a dip it snaps its tail it moves the kite moves snaps means moves its tail with the movement of dive and dip means with the downwards and upward motions of kite the string of a kite moves in the sky then soars like a ship with only a sail means here kite has been compared to a ship that kite rises high in the sky like a ship rises along with the tides in the sea sail is a long cloth which gives direction to the ship in the same way the wind here and the string over uh, of the kite which is being tied with the kite it gives direction to the kite as over tide of wind it rides means as the ship goes over the tides tides is here waves as the ship goes over the waves of the sea in the same way the kite goes in the wind with the help of wind speeds the ride it rides in the wind climbs to the crest of a gust and pulls the kite climbs to the highest point of the sky of a gust here gust means sudden brief rush of wind with a sudden brief rush of wind the kite goes to the highest point of the sky then seems to rest as wind falls as the wind stops the kite seems to rest in the sky or it appears as if it is taking rest after reaching the highest point in the sky when string goes slack you wind it back means when the string goes loose when it gets loo loosed in the sky you wind it back means you encircle the string of the kite back into the tool which you have in your hand and run until a new breeze blows you keep on running after the kite 
until a new wind a new breeze blows and gives you the hope that yes you can again fly the kite up to that point where you made it reach there to the highest point of the sky and it wings fill up it goes when again a new breeze blows a its wings means its string gets new hope and then it again it goes in onto the highest point of the sky how bright on the blue is a kite when it's new again here poet wants to say that the kite enhances the beauty of the sky when it is being flown in the sky a colorful beautiful kite always add adds the beauty to the sky but a regular thing you never will see means a rough thing or the thing which makes you unhappy you, you would never like to see as that when it flaps on a string in the top of a tree when the kite gets entangled on the top of a tree you become very unhappy and you don't want to get your tie, uh, kite to be torn and you get you want to get your kite as it was but sometimes it can get torn also or sometimes it can get untidy also now let's begin with new words before that you are supposed to make new format in your notebook by writing poem 2 honey circle the kite make sure that you make this heading in black ink number 1 blue blue means sky number 2 dive dive means to jump number 3 dip dip means to lift out or to go upward snaps snaps here moves like the string snaps in the sky the string moves in the sky number 5 soars soars means to rise quickly number 6 tides tides means waves there are tides in the sea and the ship goes or moves on to the tides in the same way the poet has compared the tides with the movement of wind means the speed of wind in which the kite is being flown number 7 crest crest is the highest point you can frame a sentence over here that my friend reached on to the crest of mountain number 8 gust a sudden brief rush of wind number 9 slack slack is loose number 10 wind wind means air but if we pronounce it in a different manner that is wind wind means encircle when you encircle the string on to the tool which you have in your hand when you fly a kite that is wind otherwise wind means air number 11 regular that is rough or the thing which makes you unhappy that is regular now let's begin with the question answers let's begin with the question answers here you can write either question answers heading or let's answer the questions both are correct question number 1 how does the kite enhance the beauty of us of the sky i have been talking about that the kite always enhances the beauty of the sky and how does it enhance here the answer is the kite enhances enhances means it adds on the kite enhances the beauty of the sky by making it more beautiful than before with its colorful appearance means 
the kite has colorful appearance with the help of that only the kite adds on to the beauty of the sky or enhances the beauty of the sky question number 2 how does the kite snap its tail means how does the kite moves its tail answer the kite snaps its tail with a dive and a dip when these movements are being made in the sky means in the blue in the sky at that time the kite snaps its tail or we can say the string is being snapped it it is being moved when these movements dive and dip means upward and downward movements are made question number 3 what happens when the string goes slack means what happens when the string goes loose in the sky its answer the kite comes back when the string goes slack and the flyer tries to wind the string when you find that the string has gone slack or it has gone loose what what do you do you find that the kite is coming back to you and you start winding the string on to the tool which you have in your hand so you start winding the string question number 4 how does the kite become ragged or how does the kite become rough or when do you become unhappy because of the kite when you fly it answer the kite becomes ragged or rough when it is entangled when it gets stuck in the branches of the tree it flutters its wings to get free sometimes it gets torn even because you try to get your kite back at that time you pull your string and the kite can be torn at that time when you when it gets entangled in the branches of the tree question number 5 how does the poet compare the kite to a ship in the poem there are lines then soars like a ship here the poet has used simile simile figure of speech which is used in the poem to compare the kite to a ship now here the answer is how does he compare answer the poet says that the kite rises in a, in the sky with the help of wind as a ship rises over the tides in the sea with the help of sail means the poet says the ship goes over the right over the tides in the sea with the help of sail in the same way the kite goes or rises in the sky with the help of wind in this way he has made the comparison of the kite and a ship now it is the time to assign you homework your homework is to learn new words and question answers of poem 2 that is the kite now let's discuss the homework which i assigned you in previous class i assigned you three questions out of which question number 1 is list out the action words in the poem dive dip snaps these are the words which were given in the question and rest of the five you were supposed to write yourself that is writes soars pulls falls climbs question number 2 read these these lines from the poem then soars like a ship with only a sail here there is comparison the movement of the tailless kite is compared to a ship with a sail this is called a simile when we compare two things can you suggest what or who 
the following actions may be compared to he runs like dash now as horse runs very fast so we can compare running of somebody like with a horse so he runs like horse he eats like rabbit we can compare it she sings like lata mangeshkar if somebody sings very beautifully very melodiously then we can say she sings like lata mangeshkar it shines like star we know that stars shine and if we are talking about an object which shines we can say that object shines like star it flies like bird we can uh, we know that birds fly and they can take a high flight so we can say that any object or any one or anything which flies that can be flown like bird or that flies like a bird here question number 3 was to make a kite with the help of origami origami sheet glue and thread hope you might have made that and pasted that in your english register after that you were supposed to start your new words and question answers if you have already started then it's okay you can make the kite afterwards also thank you so much